Hi guys, welcome back to the fourth part of the video series. If you haven't seen the previous parts, please do check that out first, the links are given in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in the previous parts, we created this model. And now, in this part we will do the UV unwrap of the model. I will hide the reference image and empty out the model layer for now. And now, I will do UV unwrap of each part one by one and add them accordingly to the layer. So let's start with this part. Select this object, then go to UV and select planar mapping option box. And now, we can see the best way to map it is from Z axis. So choose Z axis over here and click on apply. After that, go to UV and open UV editor. Now, go to edge mode, select this edge loop in the center. Go to UV editor, hold shift, right click and cut. And now, go to UV mode, double click and select this UV shell, hold shift, right click, go to unfold and again unfold. And then, do the same for this UV shell. Now rotate these UV shells and keep them like this. Then drag and select all the UVs, then hold shift, right click, go to layout, and then layout UV. Now turn on the checker box to see the distribution of the UVs. Perfect. Now then, add this object to the layer and hide it. After that, isolate this object, go to UV, and choose planar mapping option box, then apply mapping from Z axis. Now go to edge mode, select these edge loops, and cut them. Then select this bottom edge loop, and then cut it. After that, select the UV shell from the UV editor, and then unfold them. Then rotate the UV shells like this, and then lay out them. Now then, add this object to the layer, and hide it. And now, isolate this object, and unwrap this using the same method. And now, for this object, I will give a mapping from Y axis. Then cut the necessary edge loops. And then apply unfold on them from UV editor. Similarly, do the same thing for the rest of the parts. Apply planar mapping from the best side of the object, then cut the necessary edge loops. And then unfold the UV shell from the UV editor.
Now over here, we can see that the checker texture is not proper, so we have to fix this. Go to face mode, select all these faces, and then apply planar mapping from Z-axis. Now then, keep these two UV shells as it is. And now from here, select this edge loop, and deselect these ones, then cut it. Now select this UV shell and unfold it. And now unfold this object using same method. After that, select this object, shift select this other one, then go to mesh, and select attribute editor option box. From here, choose topology and apply. And then, select all the identical objects by holding shift key, and then click on apply. It will transfer the same unfold UV to the other objects. Now for this part, UV unwrapping was not coming out properly. So I will apply automatic mapping for this part. Similarly, I will apply automatic mapping to this object as well. And then I will separate out these UV shells and see how I can sew out the edges properly.
so the UV unwrapping part is completed. In the next part, we will see how to do the texturing of this model in Substance Painter. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next part of the video series. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.